Hey guys, I'm Arthur from Dynamixes. Welcome to the second video of our multi-view tutorials. Today we are going to see how to use a wireless or wireless live stereo system to record a range of motion and a calibration. Dynamixes offers a wide range of mocap hardware equipment. In the previous video, we saw how to use the Studio HMC in the tethered option. The camera cables were plugged in a computer and we used Grabber to record our video. This time, we will use the wireless live equipment and our wireless monitoring software monitor. With the wireless system, the video performances are recorded on the onboard recorder. A low definition preview of the video is streamed through the Wi-Fi allowing you to monitor the recording in our software monitor. The wireless live option is an enhanced version of the wireless system that also gives you the ability to get a previsualization of the animation in a real-time engine. A video transmission system is added to the onboard recorder to stream the high-definition video on the computer where Grabber will track the talent's face in real-time. This tutorial will be focused on how to record the video. The live tracking and animation will be addressed further in this playlist. In the first part of this video, we will see how to set up the system for recording and how to configure the Wi-Fi on the OBR. Then, we will record a short range of motion and a calibration video. And finally, we will see how to connect to the OBR through a FTP client to get back the record videos. The Dynamics Stereo Studio HMC comes with two cameras, two infrared LED rings and the smart sync box which synchronizes the camera and the lightning. You will need a D-tape battery to power on the smart sync box. If you are using the wireless equipment, you should have a simple OBR case ready to record. Since we are using the wireless live option, our OBR case comes with two antenna and a receiver. If you don't need to previsualize the animation while you're recording, we recommend disabling the video transmission system to avoid any interferences and maximize the image quality. To do this, remove the screws to open the OBR. Start by removing the antennas, then unscrew the little screw that is maintaining the emitter, hold the emitter and unplug the PWR cable. Put back the emitter, tighten the screw, then close the OBR and put the screw back. Don't forget to unplug the receiver too. Since it is the first time we are using our OBR, we will configure the Wi-Fi on our system. To do this, we will use an Ethernet cable and plug it on the OBR. On the other side, we will plug it onto our router. We will power on the OBR using the D-tape battery. I started monitor on my computer. I will click on Add Graber. My OBR should appear in the list. I will select it, then click on Connect. If a message warns you about a version compatibility, you will need to flash the OBR with the compatible version of the firmware. This procedure is explained in a separate video accessible from the description below. On the top left, I will click on the burger menu, then select Configure Wi-Fi Network. I will select my Wi-Fi in the list, then click on Connect and enter the password. If the connection is successful, you should see the new IP address on your OBR upper here. Your system is now ready to be used, we can unplug the Ethernet cable and close the OBR panel in monitor. Position the head mounted camera so that the talons air fall into the slots. Use the top velcro and the back screw to adjust the size and tighten the HMC. The camera must be aligned with the tip of the nose. If needed, it's possible to use the side screw to change the shell's orientation. Put the belt on. On the OBR, remove the two top screw to remove the cable protection. Plug in the two cameras, left and right order is not important. Put back the protection and the screw. Plug in the smart sync box cable onto the battery clip, it should start automatically. If you want to record audio, plug in your microphone. Depending on the microphone, you might need to plug a jack splitter first. I will open again monitor and click on Add Graber. I will select the Dynamics stick, then click on Connect. This time, the preview of the camera appears. We will use the white panel to adjust the previews. The default layout is horizontal. If you are using a different camera configuration, you can use this drop-down menu to change it. I will use the left button to rotate my left preview, then repeat the same for the right one. I will click on this button to put the light on on the HMC. 
Now we will adjust the camera position. Again, there is no absolute way to position the cameras. You can put them on level axis or use a low angle to focus on the lip sync. But do not change the camera configuration between two recordings. What we recommend is that the face of the talent is centered in each view and entirely visible, the two eyes of the talent are visible on each view, you need to be able to see the eyebrow moving and the shin must not go out of the frame on extreme mouse openings. We will use the sliders to change the exposure and gain of the video. The talent must not be overexposed but not too dark either. Audio is not recorded by default. To enable the audio recording, I will select the default microphone in the list. We are now ready to record our first video. The range of motion is a convenient way to gather a set of expressions in one video that will be used as a base to create the animation profile. Of course, this is not mandatory. You can start working on the talent's video performance directly. To ensure the best quality animation, there are three important rules to keep in mind. First, ask your talent to stand with a neutral expression at the beginning of each shot. Second, keep the face visible at all times. Avoid air and hands moving in front of the camera. And third, always use the same cameras and lightning for the following recording. Make sure that the camera moves as little as possible between the different shots. The list of expressions we are gonna use is described in our warm guidelines that can be downloaded from our website support page. You will also find video samples. Before starting, we will ask our actor to have a neutral expression and look straight in front of him. When he is ready, I will click on the red button to start recording. We will follow the list of poses and ask him to perform them one by one. It doesn't matter if the talent is not always looking straight ahead. He or she can have a look at the document if it's easier for them to understand the poses. Once the poses have all been performed, I will click again on the red button to stop recording. It's not mandatory to group every poses in one video. If you find it easier, you can record multiple short videos to create your animation profile. When using a multi-view system, there is no unique way to position the camera, that's why we need to record a calibration video. For this, we will use a checkerboard and move it in front of the cameras. This video, along with the checkerboard description, will be used by performer to estimate the camera properties and disposition. This is a mandatory step in the Dynamics multi-view pipeline. It's preferable to remove the HMC to better move the checkerboard around. Be very careful when you remove the HMC that you don't touch the cameras. I will click again on the red button to start recording. I will hold the HMC in wild hand while my other hand moves the checkerboard in front of the cameras. I will make sure that my checkerboard is entirely visible on both previews and move it in every direction including the depths. A 30 second to 1 minute video is enough. To stop the recording, I will click again on the red button. To download the videos, you will need a FTP client such as FileZilla. To connect to the OBR, enter its IP address, do not enter the port number. The username is lowercase dxyz and same for the password. Once you are connected to the OBR FTP server, you will see a folder called Videos, containing all the recordings. Now we have everything to create our animation profile. In the next video, we will see how to create a tracking profile using Performer TV. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, you can contact us at support at Bye!